If you've just got your IB Physics grades and you're considering a remark, let me talk you through the process and give you some of my advice. Okay, when you get your grades, you will see something that looks like on the screen right now. You'll be given your grade, you'll be given the total scaled mark, the moderated mark, you'll be given information about the grade boundaries from which your mark lies, and then the key number at the end is how many marks are required for the grade to increase. If this number is between one and three, then you might consider a remark in IB Physics. There are four different categories of remarks, but the only one we are interested in is a category one remark. That's where your individual papers will be sent back to the IB, they'll be remarked by another examiner, and then your grade may change as a result of that remark. I say the word change, it could increase, which is the hoped for output, or it could decrease. So it's really key that you spend some time looking at the grade boundaries shown in this information below to make sure that a decreasing grade wouldn't take you down to an extra lower final grade. If you're looking at sciences like IB Physics, there are eligible components of your exam that you can get remarked and there are non-eligible components that cannot be remarked. The non-eligible component that you cannot get a remark in is the multiple choice questions. There's no subjectivity there. You can't get that part remarked. And multiple choice questions are worth around 20% of your final grade. The other perhaps surprising part of your whole assessment that you can't get remarked individually is your internal assessment or your scientific investigation. That's worth 20% of your final grade as well. And that can only be remarked if your school's whole cohort gets the whole lot remarked. So that means that all of the internal assessments have been marked by your teacher. They've then all been sent to the IB for moderation. And the grades with your teacher and the moderated grades are completely different. So in which case, the whole cohort of internal assessments would go back to be remarked. You cannot get your own individual internal assessment remarked. So the only pieces of the puzzle, if you like, or the only exam papers that can really make a difference in a remark are answers that are subjective. So for example, answers in paper 1B and answers in paper 2. So you have to consider if it's worth it only sending those elements back and if that will be enough to get you that extra grade up into the next grade boundary. It does cost money, okay? It costs money to get your category run remark, but if the grade goes up, you get the money back. The money depends on where you are in the world and what school you're at and so on. So to find out how much this remark is going to cost, head to your IB coordinator and they'll tell you everything. Let's think about timescales now. You'll get your grades on the 6th of July and you have up until... 31st of August, so the whole of July, to consider if you'd like a remark. If you would like a remark, you can expect your answer and the result back within 18 days. If it's not what you want it to be, then you might consider retaking the exam. And that's a whole other video, okay? So let's say you'd actually like to request a remark. What do you actually do? Well, you check how close your scores are to the grade boundary. And my advice is between one and three, maybe four marks from the grade boundary to consider a remark. Anything more than that, I just don't see is worth it for you. You might lose money, you might your grades might go down a bit. If it was another subject, then I'd give you different advice. But for science subjects, I'm saying between one and three, maybe four marks of the grade boundary. I think three, okay? Then what you do is you go to your IB coordinator at school and discuss it with them they'll tell you the potential outcomes and the fees involved. Your IB coordinator and your school will submit an inquiry upon results for you and they will submit that to the IB and then you wait. Your IB coordinator will let you know of your new marks once they come back, but as I say, it should take about 18 days. Now, there are some additional considerations. 
you really want to think about subjectivity and marking. We've talked about that a little bit. There's no subjectivity in multiple choice questions. So really, there's not that much of your physics that can be remarked. And that reduces the amount of subject subjectivity. So the chances of the remark increasing in something like physics or chemistry or biology is less than in something like English or psychology. That's just the nature of the subject. Some physics answers are right or wrong, whereas English is more subjective. Again, you'll want to think about the proximity to grade boundaries. Your grade could go down. Are you in danger of going down a grade? And if you are, I advise you to stay well away from that remark. I want to just allay your fears on one very important point. When you get your grade on the 6th of July, there's a very robust system in place to make sure that grade is fair before you even see it, okay? There's a principal examiner and what they do is they set the standards of control and quality for the marking already. And if any paper is deemed to be close to a grade boundary, they are automatically remarked already. So it's not like one person has marked your paper, maybe they weren't concentrating, there wasn't a system in place, and they didn't they were just a rubbish examiner. And then you get your grade. It doesn't work like that. There is a robust system in place to make sure your grade is fair already. But what we have seen from experience is that many students apply for a remark and many students get that grade increase. Can I just put a caveat though? With physics, you're really looking at a grade increase or a point increase of about one, two maximum. I really don't think you should be asking for a remark if you're greater than four marks from the grade boundary. That's my advice. Um, but please feel free to take it or not. I don't mind. <laughs> I hope this has helped explain the remark policy to you. And if you have any questions, do let me know. Bye.